Good evening and welcome to the Alan Langer Trophy game which is being played uh, on the Gold Coast tonight. Pissy Park, the venue for two of the great rugby league schools, not just in Queensland but Australia-wide. Palm Beach, Corumban up against Kebra Park. This will be a terrific clash. PBC to kick off. Kebra to receive. They're running towards the right of screen. Good crowd in attendance, not just classmates and friends, but also a lot of people coming down to see this one between two of the best rugby league schools there are. So welcome to the coverage. And here is first use of the football for Kebra Park. They lure there with the first hit up. Both teams very strong. Tonga there with a good run. If you haven't seen either of these two teams in action over the course of the last few weeks, then you are in for a treat. On the Courier Mail website and the app tonight. And of course, Gold Coast Bulletin as well. Second hit up of the set there for Leilua. Kick from just inside the 40. Not a bad angle on it. And it's a 40-20. Outstanding. To get things underway. A 40-20 for Kebra Park. A terrific kick. Almost a 40-10. Tonga with a good run. He's only five metres away from the line. Ewing, they go out to the left. Still peppering that left-hand side. Beautiful ball out wide to Tom Vickery. And Vickery will open the scoring. First try of the night to Kebra Park, and it's off the back of that 40-20. They needed a couple of tackles. And the winger, Tom Vickery, in to score. Great pass. Cade Hill out to Tom Vickery. Beautiful work. Talk about a good start for Kebra. Of course, last week, Palm Beach Corumban, they played Wavell, and they're getting a bit of the taste of their own medicine. They denied Wavell the ball for about the first eight or so minutes of the game last week. So now it's going to be the attempted conversion from out wide to try to make it six points to nil and then it would be the ultimate in the perfect start for Kebra. Not a bad strike and just lands short. So four points to nil it is. 4-0. So here's the kickoff. They haven't had the ball yet. Palm Beach, Corumban. A few changes for their team following their victory last week as well. Talisu is starting for... Kebra in jersey number 19. Another strong run there from Lelua. And then they're able to play a bit of footy off the back of it with Reese Walsh. Key member of this Kebra Park team. And they're into Palm Beach Grumbin territory. This is good stuff too from Brandon Ewing. Now Walsh kicked through. Not a bad one. Fielded it there by Duckett. And good defensive pressure as well. Off to a terrific start. Kebra. And finally some football for Palm Beach Corumban. That's Jack Smith with a run. Caleb Hodges. 
There's a player down in back play. This it looks like it's Jordan Tuali who's down in back play. Play stop for a moment. Perfect start for Kibra. It looked like young Jordan just got himself in an awkward position in a tackle. Or well, while attempting to, to make a tackle late in that set. Looking at that lower leg. Seems like every time we go to the football these days, there's some sort of Cinder's Moses injury. Or Let's hope this isn't serious for young Jordan Juwali. No time off for injury in this Alalanga trophy. That's a sight you don't want to see at any time, especially early on in a game. Jake Keerton to come on the field. That is a blow to Aaron Zimmerle's team. Jordan Tuali off the field and will go straight in the hands of the trainers. And Jake Keaton comes on the field. So play on here for Palm Beach Corumban. Good run there from Brendan Piercura. Kick downfield from Toby Sexton. Wants that one to hold up in the in goal area and it will. Reese Walsh. With the ball, gets back in the field of play. Good kick chase, though, too, from Palm Beach. Trey Penny, he gets a pass out wide. They're looking to play a bit of footy early. Here's Brendan Hoffman. Good quick play, the ball. On the front foot here. Kibra, all the momentum early, leading by four points to nil. And just had a quick look down at the bench and Jordan Chuali, as well as the kick down the middle of the ground, he's getting attention from the trainers. Here's Jack Smith, good on his feet. Good field position here now for Palm Beach Corumban as they... Almost reached the halfway line, just a couple of metres short there through Duckett. Ethan Lowe, who was outstanding last week, as was the man who just handled there in Toby Sexton. Flynn Daniel, solid defender as well. Here's Solomon Torrens. Sexton. Throws a dummy, goes straight through. Toby Sexton supporting his outside. Finds him there as well. And Xavier Willison will go over and score a try. Palm Beach Karamba and hitting back. And in a few moments' time, they'll hit the lead as well. Trying to the post there to the big front rower, Xavier Willison. But well done, Toby Sexton. Toby Sexton laying that one on for his front rower. Did well finding him there too in traffic. So Toby Sexton laying on another try for Palm Beach Corumban.
Toby Sexton to add the extras. The way he was kicking them last week, he could throw this one over. Makes no mistake from right in front. Let's have another look at it. Took him a long time to find his front rower. And did well, though. In traffic. Not much Reese Walsh could have done there. And that's a very good try. Good hit back there for Palm Beach. 6-4. Good start to the game. Here on this Wednesday evening at Pizzy Park. There is the try scorer in Willison. They let Solomon Torrens go. They strike all over the park in this Palm Beach Corumban team. Flynn Daniel there. Ethan Lowe goes to Solomon Torrens. And they reach the halfway line. A couple of tackles left in the set. Kicking on tackle four is Sexton. That's a terrible bounce for Reese Walsh. He's got to go right back into the in-goal area. Here come the chasers. He's back in the field of play. Good chase. Brendan Piakura was... The one leading the way as far as the chase goes. And these will be hard yards now for Kibra. Tackle two. They're on their own 10. Although this is a very good run. That's the try scorer in Vickery. Scored off the back of a 40-20 from Kibra. Solid tackle. Ethan Lowe it was on Lailua. There's more good defence. He'll get up and play it. Now they go wide and here's Vickery again, but called back, went forward. He thought he was off and gone for try number two with Tom Vickery. Not to be though for him. Clark's had some good touches too, the centre. Inside of him. Commentator's nightmare with both of them wearing identical headgear on that far side of the field. Here's Torrens. Sexton. Uta Bergen. 20 away. Low. Willison. Strong run. Low. Goes to Sexton. He had the fullback. Jack Smith running around the outside. Decided to go flat there to Piakura. It was a good one-on-one -on -one tackle on. Brendan Piakura. Sexton. Little kick. And they're back in the field of play. Well done. I'll get a penalty here as well. Clark did well there. The centre for Kibra to clean up. So Kibra with the penalty. 16 minutes left in this first half. Good run on that occasion by Iwoni, Rich Iwoni. TJ Smart hit hard, but then keeps the legs pumping. Three of them there, and they just get him down now. That's a very good hit up by the front rower. Good angled run there by Tonga. Around a beautiful line. Now Ewing, a little bit of a juggle there from Walsh. They all stayed on side. He puts a kick into the in-goal area. It's cleaned up at the back there by Jaden West. And this will be a dropout. Sunned up the situation very well there, did Reese Walsh. 
Just when it looked like the play was going to break down and put a nice kick in. Tom Vickery was flying through. Boy, he's got some toe. So here's the dropout. Last week at PPC, Toby Sexton was hitting them a mile. This time it goes 40 metres. Yeah, that's a good tackle on Smart. Wilson it was. Here's Tonga again. Good tackle, Piakura. Through the hands they go. Walsh, Clark, Vickery steps, runs around and scores the try. And might just want to walk away. Both sets of players there because that was a very good try to Tom Vickery. Will Tudor and Kate Hill working their magic in the halves and then they got it out wide. Try awarded. Beautiful work from Clark. Handy pass two from Reese Walsh. Both captains called out. So, attempting to add the extras, another tough attempt from out wide. Struck it nicely, and it's over. Won't be an eight point try. Just the six, despite the infringement after the try being scored. So 10 points to six, it is. And Tom Vickery's got all 10 of those points for Kebra. Lua, been busy early on the big front rower. As says the hooker in Ewing, not afraid to run out a dummy half. Quality start to the game, as you would expect between these two teams. And that kick bounces out, so we'll get a little bit of a reprieve. Scrum to pack down. Palm Beach Grumbin with the feed. Twelve minutes left in the first half. What a great way to be spending your Wednesday evening. Watching some terrific schoolboy rugby league from all over the state. The Alan Langer Trophy. Terrific initiative to have the games streamed via the Courier Mail website and app. Caleb Hodges there. Uta Bergen. Now out wide they go to Sam Gordon. Still going as Gordon. Despite all that attention, they couldn't put him to ground. Good tackle there on Flynn Daniel. Stopped him in his tracks. Torrens. Thirty away from the line. Couple of tackles left here in the set. Sexton, Piakura. 
Still fighting in the tackle. Now he's been driven back. Here's the last. Better get rid of it, Smith. Now that six more tackles, it is. It did touch a Kebra player. Willison straight through. Looking for try number two, the front rower. He'll get it. They're going try for try, the two teams. And now we're all locked up again at 10 all. Palm Beach Corumbin hit back. They got the repeat set. And it was pretty much out of nothing, the hit up. No one went low on the big man. He gathered up momentum and wasn't going to be stopped. So for the second time tonight, Toby Sexton with an attempt to put Palm Beach Corumban back in front. Right boot strikes it, makes no mistake, 12-10. So 12-10, Palm Beach Corumban in front of Kebra. Eight and a half minutes left in this first half. Here's Willison again. And there's something we haven't seen all that much of, uh, a mistake. And can they capitalise again? Brendan Hoffman played it. Now here's Tonga. Good defence on Tonga. And Broziev... There in the pink headgear. Could be set for yet another lead change in this game. Hill. Now Will Tudor was put down there. We go down this short side again. Why wouldn't you when Vickery scored two? And that means he's going to go in now for try number three. Beautiful cutout pass. And Tom Vickery has his third try of the night. We're still in the first half. Still got seven minutes left of the first half. And yet another lead change in this outstanding game of football. Terrific pass once again from Cade Hill. So score from one of the other games after 16 minutes. Marsden leading Ipswich by 10 points to 8. Going down to the wire, the Alan Langer Trophy. So he scored all 14 of the points, has Tom Vickery. Hasn't made things easy for himself, but he wouldn't mind having these attempts from out wide. It means that he's the one scoring the tries. Strikes it well. And that is a beautiful kick from out wide. So he has two from three now. Oh, it was Reese Walsh from out wide in the shadows there. So Reese Walsh kicked that one. Sorry, Reese. Give you the credit. Tom Vickery with three tries on one goal and Reese Walsh with the other conversion for Kebra.
Five lead changes in the first half. Ewing will get up and play it. Walsh kicks downfield and he's put it out on the full. So here's the changeover and now can Palm Beach Corumban capitalise on that error. 15's out there in Bailey Martin. And Brozhev goes here to Daniel. Good quick play the ball as well. And Brozhev tries to see an opportunity still going. It's 10 away from the line. Daniel. Offload this time from Willison to Martin. Bailey Martin only a metre away from the line. And Brozhev. Here's Sexton. It was a beautiful pass. And he throws an even better one out wide to Jaden West, who's over in the corner. And once again, we're all locked up. 16 all with a kick to come. The replay will look really good here. Some terrific passes. Sexton, outstanding ball. And he got a good one as well that put him into a hole. And Jaden West with the try. So 16 all it is. Toby Sexton with a chance to have our sixth lead change of the game. And we're still only in the first half. What an entertaining game of football. So Sexton strikes it and waved away. Full-time score coming in, by the way. St. Mary's have defeated Wavell, 26-18. That's a full-time score. So St. Mary's, 26, defeating Wavell, 18. Another match in the Alalanga Trophy that's on this evening. Here's the kickoff. It'll be an awkward one to handle, but bounces up nicely in the end there for Hodges. Willison. Nice inside pass to Piakura there from Uderbergen. And Piakura. He's injured here. Just over a minute left in the half. Brendan Piakura might have just fallen awkwardly. He got up. And he was a little bit shaken up. They'll take him out the back. So 50 seconds left. He's coming from the fields. Brendan Piakura. And 
And coming on the field is Daniel Butterini. We'll have time for one, maybe two more plays. Torrens. This will be the last play of the half. Will he look for one point here? Toby Sexton. Charge down. We might have more than one point. Siren sounds. Can't pick it up. Sexton does. He looks to try to turn defence into attack, but he's wrapped up. Nearly a try off a charge down for Kibra. But that will be half time here at Pizzy Park. What an entertaining half of football we've had. 16 all at half time. So Palm Beach and Kibra all locked up at 16 all. We'll be back when the second half gets underway in around 10 minutes from now.
Second half action, Alan Langer Trophy. What a first half we had. We're about to kick off for the second half. And there is the kickoff. 16 all. Solomon Torrens with the first run of the second half. Very hard to predict what's going to happen here. Willison, nice offload. Sexton, he gets the pass away. And they're away here through Hodges. Caleb Hodges. Almost like his namesake, just smiling at the defenders as they come across. Beautiful run from the centre. What we used to see Justin Hodges doing is Bailey Martin. 20 away. What a start to the second half this would be if Palm Beach Corumban can register some points. Willison, he grabbed a first half double. Sexton dummies. Cut down a couple of metres away from the line. Daniel Embroisiev stepping back towards the short side. It's still there for Embroisiev. Can he get the ball down? No, he can't. He finishes just short of the line. Last tackle, changeover. Kebra, hang on, only just. 16 all that remains. Second half, picking up where the first half finished. Clark. Stepping and throwing dummies. Good tackle from Torrens. Wrapping up Reese Walsh. Ewing. Now it was touched there by Embroisiev. They're going to have six more tackles here. Cade Hill. Smart. Good run from him. Here goes Walsh. Good tackle from Torrens. Josh Coles in jersey number 16 on the field. Trying to put it through the hands. Nowhere to go there for Kebra. Here's a little kick from Hill. And wanting a bounce and getting a good bounce there is Penny. It will go over and score a try. It'll be awarded. Terrific kick, Cade Hill. His hands have laid on a couple of tries already tonight. This time, a perfectly placed kick. And Trey Penny scores the try for Kebra. Got a great bounce. And the try scored, so they're back in front again, Kebra. They led three times during the first half, and now have hit the lead for the fourth time tonight. They've been going try for try, so in the context of the game, or the way the game's been going, it was their turn to score. Vickery got the kicking duties, and he nails it, so they're out to a converted try lead. That's a very good kick from Tom Vickery. Terrific kick, Cade Hill. around the ground and see one of former and I think I'll get this right Keegan Hipgrave, former Kebra, former Palm Beach Grumman, former PBC student 
in the crowd tonight, playing for the Titans. And of course, for those people who aren't familiar with schoolboy rugby league, it wasn't all that long ago that an origin player like David Fafita was playing in this competition. And Payne Haas as well from the Broncos. Tonga got away from the initial tackle there from Hodges. High kick from Reese Walsh. And the juggle at the back from Smith. He took it well. That was a difficult one to take. Here's a penalty. So Sexton kicks for touch, 30 metres away from the Kibra line. Second half about to get underway at the North Ipswich Reserve. Marsden leading Ipswich 16 points to 14. 22-16 here in favour of Kibra. Here's Flynn Daniel. And Broizhev. Nine away from the line. Coles with a good tackle there. Sexton dummies goes through and will score. How many times during the Alan Langer Trophy have teams fallen for the Toby Sexton dummy? Scores a try under the post and in a couple of minutes time we'll be all locked up once again. Beautiful work, Toby Sexton. Scores the try. 22-20. Kibra in front of Palm Beach Corumban. And Toby Sexton now to attempt to add the extras. To bring us back on level terms again. And it is 22 all. So 22 points all. As we restart play yet again. Good defence on Torrens. Which Nwani making the tackle. Good to see all okay with Brendan Piakura, who did come from the field at the end of the first half. Inside pass there, Uderbergen to Torrens. And the two 13s coming together again there. Wani and Torrens. Piakura. Here's the last for Palm Beach Corumban. Kick there from Sexton, high kick, perfectly placed and Walsh will knock that one on. Perfectly placed kick from Toby Sexton.
Put under a fair bit of pressure as well. Copped a little bit there from some of his representative teammates. Here's Hodges. Caleb Hodges a couple of metres away from the line. And Broisiev, he's come close a couple of times tonight and, and he's denied yet again, held up. Here we go back to the 10 metre line to play the ball. Smith. Sexton. Uta Bergen. Butterini, good tackle. And Broisiev. Now Bailey Martin. Five away from the line. Jack Smith throws a dummy and tries to catch them napping. Not held, reaches out and scores. Good thinking there from Jack Smith. They all just dropped off him. He was up in the air. He's entitled to reach out and score. No sign of double movement. And the try awarded. Here's the replay. Yeah, they all fell off him. So the try awarded now Palm Beach in front. And for the first time tonight, we've had a team score back-to-back -back tries. So they've scored out of turn here, Palm Beach Corumbin. So 26-22 it is. There's a player down for Eric Imbrosiev is the player down for Palm Beach Garumban. Here's another look at this try. Always fighting Jack Smith. And I'm pretty certain that the two players dropped out of the tackle because they thought that there might have been a chance for a one-on-one -on -one strip. And he kept fighting there, Jack Smith, and scored the try. So, Edik Imbrosiev limping from the field. Means that Ethan Lowe will come back on. Toby Sexton with a chance to put Palm Beach Grumbin out to a converted try lead. Should have no problem from here. Sexton. Makes no mistake. 28-22. 16 minutes left. Ipswich are now in front of Marsden, 18-16. Here's Piakura. That's in the game at North Ipswich Reserve tonight. We're at Pizzy Park for this highly entertaining contest between two schoolboy heavyweights, Palm Beach, Corumban and Kibra. And the momentum at the moment is all with PBC. As they get a penalty here. They've scored back-to-back -back tries. Now they find touch just short of the halfway line. So 
Torrens. It's been busy, the lock forward. Uderbergen. Now Butterini. Uderbergen changes the point of the attack. Flynn Daniel loses the shorts. Good run, though, from him. Sexton, Hodges. Low, Sexton, Piakura. Brendan Piakura, good run. Last tackle, big back line set out to the right. Bailey Martin goes short, though, to Torrens. And this will be a changeover. Tough yards here for Kibra to come off their line. Good defence on that occasion. Now they're on their own 10 metre line on tackle two. Piakura, nice pass there from Walsh to Ewing. Daniel with a good tackle. Although went on with it a little bit too long. It was smart work by Brendan Ewing. Earns his team a penalty. Much needed one at that. Terrific touch finder. Well, judging the way this game has been going, you'd expect Kibra to be the next team to score. And Tonga, he's only a couple of metres away from the line. Ewing, Hill, Tuda, ducking under tackles. Still going, he's 10 metres away from the line. Reese Walsh to dummy half. They lure. Here they go through Tudor. Now Cade Hill, he's been magnificent tonight. Out wide they go, and Trey Penny looking for a double and will get it. Kebra in to score out wide, 28-26, and they'll have a kick now to level things up with 12 minutes remaining. Terrific work. It's fair to say, Cade Hill has had a hand in every one of Keeper's tries. And that's a terrific finish. Again... Reese Walsh it is now. Taking turns at the goal kicking out wide. Tom Vickery nailed his from out there earlier. But now it's Reese Walsh. Struck it well. But waved away. Two point ball game. Wouldn't like to try to have a guess at who is going to win this game from here. So here's the kickoff. Oh! Get out of my way. He doesn't care who he hits. And might have lost it there. No, just hung on to the football as well. Did they lure? Up. There's a good tackle. And it was from the hooker and Ethan Lowe. Trevor Gilmister would have been happy with a technique like that. Kate Hill, 
Dangerous, the 5'8". For Kibra. Reese Walsh kicks for himself. Can he get a bounce? It eludes him. Ends up in the hands there of Smart. He gets a pass away. Now the always dangerous second kick. Vickery's looking for four. Going for the corner. He's out. Jaden West. Doing very well. How didn't they score here? This second kick was outstanding. Oh, Jaden West does magnificently. Vickery was looking for his fourth try of the night. Nine minutes left. Two-point ball game. Alan Langer Trophy here at Pizzy Park. Torrens. Toby Sexton wants that one to sit up. It might sit up. Oh. A game of inches. Centimetres away from being the perfect kick. And now it's a seven tackle set for Kibra. Well. They've mucked it up in the play the ball here, Kibra. It was the seven tackle set. And on tackle zero, they've made a mistake there. Luke Clark, or that might have just brushed the foot there of Bailey Martin. But it's PBC now with the scrum feed. Big set defensively here needed from Kibra. Although Hodges has got other ideas. And a penalty. Holding down. Well, they said they got him high. So Sexton will just kick this one out. Santa Boyd in the top of the screen. Willison. Flynn Daniel, a couple of metres away from the line. They need to hang on here, Keeper. Palm Beach Grum can almost settle the contest. Uderbergen, now Smith. Sam Gordon, five away from the line, and he's tackled. Jaden West will go to dummy half. Piakura now. Tackle four. Low. Bailey Martin for the line. He'll score. And he likes that one. Bailey Martin scores. And with six minutes remaining, Toby Sexton will have a kick at goal to send Palm Beach Grumman out to an eight-point lead. So Palm Beach Grumbin leading by six. Toby Sexton to add the extras. And if he is successful, we'll be out to an eight point lead here, Palm Beach Grumbin. Entertaining game. And the Langer Trophy. So they're just off centre here. Toby Sexton.
Five minutes left. They'll need to score twice. Conversion successful. Bailey Martin threw a dummy and scored. Here's the kickoff. And out on the full. Although they're saying it's not, they say it bounced. And looking at our eagle-eyed cameraman, Brian Hopper Kerwin, he says they got it right, and they certainly did. It bounced just, just in the field of play. So here's a chance for Kibra to hit back. They score straight away, and it will set up a big finish. We're into the final four minutes. They need to score early in this set. Lelua still going. Thought about an offload. Held on to the ball. Now Walsh. Out wide they go, and well, the pass on the inside was looking for Clark, but Palm Beach, Corumban have got the ball and they may well now go on for the victory. Jack Smith eight away from the line, his own line. There's Duckett. Well, they've got time to score another try here, Kibra, but they're trailing by eight. Although there was a little knock on there from Ethan Lowe. He might have had the bobble, but the ball didn't hit the ground. They almost have to score off the scrum here, Kibra. Ten away from the line. And going for the line is Ewing. He dropped it out the back. It'll be play on here, will it? No, knock on. And can we, I think we can officially say now that will be the ball game. Had some opportunities in the last couple of minutes, Kibra. With Brendan Ewing. It's good defence from PBC. Three of them in there to stop him. And one of them's come out a little bit worse for wear. It might be Xavier Willison on the ground. Just trying to see if I can see him in back play. Pretty certain it is the Palm Beach Grumba number 10 who's on the ground. I think the players realise there might not be any more time for this game to continue. In the other game tonight, Marsden are leading Ipswich. Oh, oh, sorry, Ipswich in front of Marsden, rather. Ipswich in front of Marsden, 28 22. Thirty-four twenty-six. That will be the full-time score here tonight. Palm Beach Garumban with the victory over Kibra Park. And pretty certain that is Xavier Willison 
It is who is down receiving attention. But that is full time. And what an entertaining game we have had here in the Alalanga Trophy tonight. Victory to Palm Beach Corumban over Kebra Park. 34 to 26. There's Aaron Zimmerle, the happy coach for Palm Beach Corumban. They get the victory. 34 points to 26. An entertaining game. What did we have? Seven lead changes throughout. But in the end, it was a good win for Palm Beach Corumban. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you've enjoyed the Alan Langer Trophy on the Courier Mail website and app and other various News Limited publications as well. All the crew doing a terrific job from Red Corner to bring you the coverage of these games and terrific games they have been as well. Thirty-four points to twenty-six. Palm Beach Corumban defeated Kebra Park. And it's full time here at Pizzy Park. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening, and of course, rep round coming up uh, in Rugby League this weekend. Bye bye for now.